All right, we're on Mother's Swelling of the Red Forest. We're here because multiple survivors sent us here. We've got three Twitchers in the lobby. Uh, we had a hook offering. We have four flashlights. I think we already know what we're up against. Sabo Squad, Flashlight. If this is a troll group, I'm not interested. Look, I know you're in the locker with head on. Is this what we're going to do? What? Are you guys here to troll me? I mean, you guys are wasting your time. I'm not going to play this game. Uh, you always thought about DBD being a movie with one, yeah, with one killer and few survivors. They're going to be here with their flashlights. God, you guys couldn't even get the flashlight line right. Wait, who's in the locker, huh? You don't have to mend, do you? If you're in the... If you're in the locker and you have to mend... Yeah. Troll squad. Who's down here? Yeah, this is a this is a bully squad. Not like we haven't played against them before, so. They probably have... I don't think they get here. They're not getting that through that. No, no, no. Clicky, clicky, guys. Oh, guys. That's two. I think we get here before they get here with the flashlights. Guys, you guys aren't even that good at this. We saw somebody get into the locker. Yep. We knew he was in there, but that's okay. Now, that should not have landed. That shouldn't have landed. Come on. They're all injured. Uh, 
Man, I know you're in the locker, buddy. Yeah, guess what? You can... Yeah, you can stay there. That's three. And you brought... You brought, brought an unbreakable, right? Right? You guys brought an unbreakable, right? Unbreakable somewhere, right, guys? You guys brought more than that, right? Multiple unbreakables. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. That's fine. We'll let your b teammate up there bleed out. Your teammate have unbreakable up there? What do you think? <laughs> hey, Vittorio, you want to come out? I think we already exhausted the two unbreakables on the people that are on the ground. Well, I mean, well, I, I'm not, I'm literally going to let these two people bleed out. You can come on out and end the game now. I mean, the bullying is over. The bullying is over, my man. If you think I'm picking her up so you can head on me. Oh, okay. Okay. She's dead. You're not going anywhere. And let's go collect the last. Hi. Oh, don't shake your head at me. Don't shake your head at me. And that's that. That would be that. That's not that. Oh, we should have, uh, we should have camped him. Oh, that's sad. And he got the hat. Well. Unfortunately, unfortunately the uh the Felix got the hatch. We should have we should have waited. Wait a minute. How did he escape? 
Didn't we have all three people dead? How did he Kobe off the hook? Had the third person not yet been sacrificed when I hooked them? I guess the third person hadn't been sacrificed, right? I thought all three people were dead. How did he Kobe? Well, if he kobe obviously he did. Uh, GG's, I guess, to this group. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're, uh, they're, it's, this is a, this is a full-on bully squad, if you will. Uh, nobody had Unbreakable. We thought we saw somebody, we did not, did we not see somebody pick themselves up? At one point, we had four people slugged. How did somebody get up? Soul Guard. That's how it was. The Kate had Soul Guard, and we had the Hex up. That's how they were able to pick themselves up. No Unbreakable. But Soul Guard allowed the Kate to pick themselves up, or else we would have 4K'd that even sooner than we did. Uh, so, yeah, our Hex for our Hex build that we never got a chance to use uh, ended up being uh, what did it. But... I'm really curious. I thought all three people, I thought all three people had been sacrificed, but apparently that third sacrifice had not gone through and the Felix was able to Kobe off. So unfortunate that we couldn't get all four, but I think we proved our point. Uh, let's look at the loadouts. Uh, four flashlights, uh, multiple bulb and uh, multiple bulb accessories and add-ons to make the beams go longer, the duration to go longer. Uh, multiple head-ons, four people running head-on, multiple people with, with quick and quiet, vigil to have everybody in the group uh, get their exhaustion back so they can do the head-ons quicker. Uh, the game would have been a terrible map as well because lots of lockers on the game. Uh, Ormond, maybe not as good a map, but there are certain locations, not in Ormond, I'm sorry, in the Red Forest, there's a couple locations that spawn with lots of lockers together, depending what map you're on. If you're on Red Forest, which is where we ended up going to, and we didn't end up on the temple map. So they all decided to go to the killer shack. They started locker spamming to get my attention. Guys, you got my attention. And unfortunately for you, I guess uh, we've played squads like this before. And whether or not they're trolling, whether or not they were just out there, I'm sure they would say, we're just out there to have a good time. If that's what you were doing, we played head-on before. And whenever we play head-on as a survivor and we head-on a killer, we know that's going to get their attention and probably get their ire. Uh, in a case like this, the object is you get a killer and then you just punish him by constantly flashlight blinding when they yank somebody out of a locker or when they try to pick somebody up and the hook offering is to make sure they can't get them to a hook and they try to do all that except we've been there before and we've gone up against it against the killer who doesn't have our experience they probably could have pushed them around all match in this case we were the ones who did the pushing around we end up with the 3k lucky you felix that we should have stayed and waited for that uh for that kobe but uh in the end, uh, we'll still take it. A good, a good result against this bully squad on the Red Forest.